Hello everyone and welcome to the HIV Rapid Home Testing Tutorial. We're now going to show you and demonstrate to you how the HIV 1 and 2 Rapid Home Screen Test works. And in the pack you will find an instruction sheet and you'll also find the test itself that looks like this. The test comes in a sterile container and on the front of it you'll see an expiration date. What I'll do now is tear it open and show you the contents of it. Then I'll demonstrate the procedure. So we'll start off by opening the package and taking the contents out. So, as I said, it comes with an instructional sheet. It also comes with a lancet that you will use to prick your finger with. And it comes with a sterile pad. It also comes with a micro pipette. That's the one you use to draw blood out of your finger with. And the test cassette itself, which looks like this. What I'll do first is to use the sterile pad to clean my finger with. I'll tear it open like this, take it out and I'll clean my fingertip. Okay, we're done with that, I'll toss that away. Now, what I'll have to do now is to use the lancet. Pretty much what you have to do is that you push down on top of it. You push it in like this and you twist it. One time is enough or you can do it twice and you pull it out. Simple as that. The lancet is now loaded and is ready to use. So what I do now is push it to the tip of my finger. And I use this button here to activate it. As you can see, I just pricked my finger. You can see a little bit of blood that comes out. So in order to get the blood out of the finger, I'll have to use the micro pipette. Just squeeze your finger lightly and you'll see the blood come out. And you suck it into the micro pipette. That was one. I'll do one more. Then you drop it into the sample well. That was one. Do one more. It can be a little hard to get the blood out sometimes, so you have to be patient. We'll need a little bit more. That should be enough blood. So now we're done with this. Now 
And now the next thing that I'll do is that I will open the cap of the dilution bottle, which looks like this. Then what you will do is put about three drops of the dilution liquid into the sample well. This is the sample well. You have to do this very slowly. Be careful and make sure that you hit the sample well correctly and that you don't spill. There we go. You can also use the micro pipette just to make it all mix in a little better. So inside of the package, you'll find the instructional sheet that looks like this. It shows you the content of the kit and a little bit of instruction. It looks like this, and on the back of it, you'll also find step-by-step -step instructions. And if you look here closely at the bottom right corner, you will see the results and what the different results mean. You can interpret the results on the basis of this. So we are going to have to wait a few minutes for this one to show the result. So, as long as you can see that the single control line, which you can see right here next to, it's a little hard to see on the video, but there's a C right here, and there's a T on the other side. As long as you can see a control line next to the C, that means that the test works. Now, we're going to have to wait for a little bit because liquids mix up and then eventually come up with a result. We're going to give it a little bit more time here. Just be patient. So, in the meanwhile, just keep in mind, the window period for an HIV infection is around three months. That is, well, in other words, it can take the body around three months to produce enough HIV antibodies so that a test like this one can detect it. That means you have to wait three months before you can get a confirmatory test that says that you are HIV negative. Here we can see that there is only one line next to the C that indicates that I am HIV negative. However, if the line had shown up next to the T as well as the C, then that would have meant that I would have a positive result. If you use this test and it comes up with a positive result, it is very important that you immediately seek out professional advice. That means that you go to a doctor and you talk to them about your situation and you have them perform another test. So thank you everyone for watching this video, this short tutorial. Um, I wish you the best of luck. We have a website listed at the bottom of this tutorial video, www stdrapidtestkits.com and you can buy a rapid test kit for HIV there. Goodbye.